Thank you, thank you. Too kind, too kind. Y'all are too kind. Thank you so much. Hey, we're going to start off uh, with a little Kansas City jazz here by uh, one of my favorite, one, a lot of our favorites, uh, early jazz musicians, Benny Moten and his Kansas City Orchestra. It's uh, the orchestra that Count Basie got to start in. So, And this is one of their earlier tunes recorded in 1925. And uh, it seems appropriate to start because Kansas City is full of all sorts of beautiful antique red brick buildings. So... Here we are in our very own, a little tune called Cater Street Rag. A lot, of, a lot of big name uh, jazz musicians got their start in that orchestra. Uh, not even just Count Basie, but Lamar Wright, who was a big trumpet player back then and uh, um, played with Cab Calloway, as, as a lot of the uh, Benny Moten players ended up doing later. So uh, here's a little tune, a lovely tune that our illustrious guitar player on the axe there, stage left, Albany Fletta, will sing you. Sing you now. It's a little tune called Blue Drag. Microphone is on. Can you guys hear that? Okay, great. I'm not used to this newfangled electricity. <laughs> the switch is in the on position. Hello, testing, tasting one shoe. Hello. Hello, hello, testing. One, two. All right. Magic. <laughs> it's just right. part of our act.
that slow drag It's got that new lazy swing I crave that new crazy thing I must have my blue drag Oh, that rhythm, blue rhythm Has got me into this mysterious craze Oh, that rhythm, blue rhythm Has got me into this peculiar taste Can't get enough of Blue dress. Paletta, ladies and gentlemen, and everyone else. Thank you, darling. Wow. This next one's an old standard from the 20s and 30s, and uh, arranged by our pal here, Lion Gralty, with the tenor sax in his hand, that handsome fellow we call Sporty Velour. It's a little tune called Mama's Gone Goodbye.
Mama's gone goodbye. Yeah. Oh, Laura's here. <laughs> I missed that cheer. I did. I really did. All right, here's a wonderful tune. I sure like to play it. It's an old Sidney Bechet tune that Mrs. Lauren Gould here put together for us. It's called Black Stick. Ooh, what a treat we have here. This is an original by Albany Fletta here. It's a wonderful tune, very lovely. Um, it's a little song called Goodbye Noah. About New Orleans. Of course, Mardi Gras upon us. So it seems fitting. That's true. Fuletta, take it over. All right. Singing that old 
to where my heart belongs. by Albany Folletto. You know, Folletto, I like that song. I like it. Well, Keep good. it, keep it, you should keep that. Good for you. What do you know, another Sidney Bechet tune. We love Sidney Bechet in this band. Yay, He's, he was okay, he was okay too. A little tune called What a Dream, and uh, yeah, Lauren Gould, once again, on the arrangement duties. Boom. I'd like, to point, I'd like to point out, most of the horn players, and even this, this guy here, do a lot of arranging, a lot of arranging, and composing, a lot of original compositions, and lots of rearranging. It's pretty impressive how hard these folks work. So give them a hand, come on. <laughs> It's the least I can do to point it out since I never do anything like that. I just show up late and play the wrong chords. Anyways, here's a tune called What a Dream. Oh, thanks, Jelly. Thanks. <laughs>
what a dream. Not bad, not bad for the second time of playing it. And speaking of second time of playing a song, this next one as well. Prince Harles. So John, you wrote this one? Did you write, John, did you write this one? I did. Okay. Just wanted to make sure you weren't taking credit for someone else's work. No. By the way, John, uh, you know, he's, he's a humbled man. But if you know, you know. But uh, he's, he's kind of the, he's the brainchild of this band. He put this band together how many years ago? Eight, nine, ten? I don't know. Thirteen? What? Shut the hell up. Oh, okay. 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 That, make, that makes more sense. Okay. Yeah, so, you know, he put it, he put it together and, and just, like, churned out just boom, boom, original after original. It was really impressive, so... Uh, good to see he's uh, good to see you're still at work, John. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Here we go. Here's a tune.
Did y'all get that fade? Did you, check, did you hear that fade? Not bad, not bad. Hey, how about our pal Hal Smith on the drums, y'all? If you know, you know. If you don't, he's an absolute legend of the game. So we're very honored to have him playing with us. Always. My favorite drummer to play with, play jazz with, by far. Yep. I'll introduce, these, I'll introduce these other bozos later. Let's go. Here's a tune called Nobody's Sweetheart. Another tune from the 20s, a little standard that Lion Grolty rearranged here. Speaking of nerds, um, Ryan Gould on the bass, everyone. Yeah. Um, hey, here's this is one of my all-time favorite uh, songs from the 20s. It's, uh, it was originally done by the Get Happy Band on Paramount Records. And old Sidney Bechet happened to be running through the studio at the time and decided to sit in with these guys before he took off to France for a while. 
And uh, I feel like this is one of the tunes that John arranged just to make me happy, which I really appreciate. I appreciate that. Thanks, buddy. Um, yeah, it's a great tune. Harlem's Araby. Just barely. What do you think about Jelly's chops there? Please. Check, check. Um, how's everybody feeling out there? Y'all enjoying this concert? Um, you know, this is such a treat. We had a big band in here last night with 18 musicians, five saxes, four trombones, four trumpets. We switched everything around tonight. Give it up for the uh, Thrift Set Orchestra Deluxe. This is amazing. Again, uh, my name's Colin. I introduced myself to you guys here in the room before we started, but to all you tuning in online, thank you so much. Uh, we're Monks Jazz. We're over here in East Austin, right at the end of 6th Street, before it dead ends into our wonderful HEB in this neighborhood. <laughs> um, 
And we're doing all kinds of concerts in this room, uh, listening room tapings, all that stuff. We're doing about 12 or 15 shows a month. So everybody in the room, if you could go to Monk's Jazz, sign up for the email list. If you're tuning in online, please like the Facebook page, but promptly go hit that YouTube link. The YouTube audio and video quality is so much better, and you could subscribe to the channel there. And I just want to tell everybody about some upcoming concerts. Um, I'm also a pianist, and I'll be turning... 33 years old at midnight tonight and celebrating. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I'll be celebrating with my trio on Thursday night. I figured why play on Wednesday on my actual birthday. So we're going to play Thursday night with Danny DeFore on drums and Sam Pinky on the bass. Uh, it's going to be a great show. It is sold out, so please tune in online. But there are still tickets available for Saturday and Sunday. The same big band is back, the Christian Wiggs big band, and he's bringing a pianist down from New York City. His name's Stephen Feifke, a wonderful modern jazz arranger, and we're gonna have the full 18-piece band. So that's Saturday and Sunday, and many more shows to come. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thanks for uh, coming to the studio, and if you're watching online, go to that Venmo, go to that PayPal, support this fantastic band. Thank you. Oh, thank you. All right, we're back. Gave Joey some resting time for his little chops. There we go. Yeah, stretch it out, Jelly. Uh, <laughs> I bet you have. Here's a little tune that uh, Jelly arranged uh, based off the old Gene Goldkett uh, orchestra arrangement. Gene Goldkett was kind of one of the first earlier big bands in the 20s, and it was sort of a the guy where all the biggest names in jazz, uh, like white musicians specifically, would, would go through those ranks. And um, uh, yeah, it was, it was uh, quite the band, very tight, um, unlike what you're about to hear. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, this is a wonderful tune here called Sunday. That's one day when I'm with you. Why well, then I cry all day Tuesday. I sigh all day Wednesday. Oh my, how I long for you. But then there's Thursday. Gee, it's long, it never goes by. Friday makes me feel like I'm gonna die. But then there's payday. That's my fun day. Thinking over Sunday. That's one day. I'm with you.
Someday, arranged by Gelly. You know, one of my favorite things in the world, one of my favorite sounds, is when the rhythm section drops out and it's just horns. Uh, I don't have to tell you what it makes me do. It makes me feel. It's all horns. Hey, uh, speaking of the horns, let me uh, introduce. We have Mr. Lion Gralty here. He's got a clarinet right now. He also is doubling on tenor sax. And I already mentioned him, so I'm going to skip him. Psych, no. That's John Doyle there. Jonathan Doyle on the clarinet. Uh, alto sax. Soprano sax. And then we have Lauren Gould, who is holding that phenomenally badass-looking baritone sax. Also playing alto sax and soprano sax. And flute. And then we have Jelly, David Jellema, our personal little Buddha of the band. Plays cornet and clarinet. And uh, here we have, makes it... Thrift Set Orchestra at Deluxe is having Mr. Steve Butts here on the trumpet. Yeah. And then, of course, last but not least, Miss, Mr. Mark Speedy Gonzalez here on the trombone. He also has a little soprano trombone slide trumpet um, in uh, some other at some other gig down the road. So you should follow him on Instagram to find out when that happens. <laughs> okay, here's a little tune called Cushion Foot Stop by Mr. Clarence Williams.
cushion foot stomp. Wow, Christmas came early. I had no idea Mark was going to bust out that soprano trombone during this gig. Wow. Cool. Power of suggestion, y'all. It is powerful. Ooh. Here's, a, here's a, one of my favorite songs to play in this band, i got to admit. Uh, again, uh, so we talked about Benny Moten at the beginning of this uh, set. And uh, a lot of those guys in that Benny Moten band went on to play for this band. Uh, they made their way up from Kansas City up to Chicago, played around there for a little bit, St. Louis, and they made their way to New York and uh, formed, at the time, kind of a super band, basically. And um, uh, they played a little bit at the Cotton Club in Harlem with uh, an orchestra called Andy Preer's Cotton Club Orchestra before he died, and then they formed the Missourians. And um, man, uh, if you like hot 1920s dance band music, hot jazz, it doesn't get any better than them, in my opinion. It's some of the best uh, just hot jazz dance music out there. It's it, the punk rock of its day, I would even say. I dare to say. And um, <clears throat> this, this tune, I believe, is written by either, I think their trombone player, R.Q. Dickerson, or something like that. Anyways, uh, Speedy... Again, I think he did this to make me happy, which I appreciate. I really do. God. He arranged this tune. It's lovely. It's called Market Street Stomp.
Market Street Stomp, arranged by Speedy Gonzalez. Thank you, thank you. Thanks. See what I mean about punk rock? That ending, man. Go listen to that original recording. It's from 1929. This is Metal AF, y'all. All right, here's a little mashup, because we like to be modern. <laughs> modern medley. Yeah. That's right. Here's a little uh, tune called Blues My Naughty Rumpus Sweets The What. <laughs> We're working on the title. <laughs> thank you, thank you.
Thank you. So John uh, whipped that little medley over, well, overnight, like literally in his sleep. He didn't have to be even awake for it, so that's pretty impressive. <laughs> Just tells you the mastery that's behind, behind it, behind the plaid. Um, and Faletta, again, Albany Faletta on the vocals. Yeah. Very sweet voice. Even though she didn't say the chorus correctly, we'll look past that. It's fine. Blues my naughty rumpus. Yeah, next time. Uh, this next tune, Speedy arranged once again. This is a Duke Ellington tune. It's a wonderful tune. It's kind of a ball buster, and that's why we love it. It's a little tune called Rock and a Rhythm.
in rhythm. Mark Gonzalez on the arrangement. You know, I always wondered back, back in the day before I started playing jazz, how does the drummer turn the page of music? Al, yeah, Al, watch him. Effortless, effort, I, I, he just, he's boom, done. It's incredible. No one knew, no one knew, no one knows, no one knows of you. Yeah, once again, our, our pal, Hal Smith, he doesn't live here, so it's an honor to have him. We both like a guy named Stan King. Uh, Ryan Gould. I've been playing music with this guy going on 22 years. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I already introduced, oh, and Albany, Florida, you know, Albany. <laughs> She's an Austin-ish native, and uh, she no longer lives here as well, but so it's also a treat to have her. Yeah. Yeah. All right, here's another John Doyle original. I love this one because it's very much in the style of like the late 20s uh, minor key Harlem sort of march type thing they would do. Lovely little tune. It's called Sweet is the Night. Sweet is the night 
sweet is the night, night. Here's a fun, silly one done by our pal Stuff Smith. He was a, uh, a Harlem violin player. He got his nickname Stuff because he could never remember anyone's name, so he'd always just call everyone Stuff. Hey, what's up, Stuff? So people started calling him Stuff. And uh, yeah, pretty cool. Um, <laughs> But yeah, he had, uh, he had a real hot band, uh, Stuff Smith and his Onyx Club boys, because they used to play at the Onyx Club. And uh, here's a tune. We all have a Joe in the family. It's called Old Joe's Hitting the Jug. Old Joe's hitting the jug. Yeah. Old Joe's hitting the jug. Yeah. Got his feet up in a chair, but haven't got a care. Old Joe's hitting the jug. Yeah. He's not working today. Hey. He's not working today. Hey. Got his corn by the side, but Jim down tied. He keeps working today. Hey. Said old Joe. Oh, Joe. Said old Joe. Oh, Joe. Said old Joe. Oh, Joe. Oh, Joe. Old Joe's hitting the jug. Old Joe. Oh, Joe. Said old Joe. Oh, Joe. Said old Joe. Oh, Joe. Old Joe's in the jug. Yeah. He's got his corn by his side. Ah. He got his corn by his side. Ah. He would never even know the river overflowed. He got his corn by his side. Ah. He acts touching the hand. Hey. He acts touching the hand. Hey. Got his whisk by his chair, but the jug filled the air. He acts touching the hand. Hey. Said old Joe. Oh, Joe. Said old Joe. Oh, Joe. Said old Joe. Oh, Joe. Old Joe's hitting the jug. <laughs> old Joe. Oh, Joe. Said old Joe. Oh, Joe. Said old Joe. Oh, Joe. Old Joe's hitting the jug. Told you it was silly. Duke Ellington number. This is one of my favorite Duke Ellington numbers, I would say. It's a good one. Very atmospheric, another Harlem sounding tune from the late 20s. It's called The Mooch. This is named after Paletta.
Aber you ever hear about like people talking about jazz musicians having conversations with themselves, right? Like, did you hear those? You hear those little bitches talking to each other? Oh, that was great. Oh, that was great. Uh, also, yo, know, what what up with the uh, the clarinet trio plus soprano? That I don't know if you know how lucky you are. If you could just walk away from the evening just hearing that, you would have been good. That was that was something that was very uh, prevalent back in Harlem in the 20s, uh, you heard that, the clarinet trio a lot, and just that high, just wailing. Pretty sick. Speedy's pretty sick, too. I'm sick of all of you. Here's a, here's a little tune called Who's Sorry Now? It's an old uh, ja uh, standard from the 20s as well. Oh, and guess what? Y'all are in for a treat. Careful what you ask for there, Trace. <laughs> he didn't say anything about himself, but Wesley Borghese. <laughs> I once woke him up in a house fire. It was pretty awesome. You can yell fire, the loudest drill instructor voice you have. And he sits up from the hips directly and looks at you and goes, what? And then you yell fire again, drill instructor style. And then he goes, ugh. Oh. And then he goes, fire! When he sees the smoke billowing behind you. I don't remember that. I do. Fun day. Put it out though. It's true. Talk about that more. It's jazz. It's hot jazz. Firehouse five who?
Give me that. That's all you get. Hmm, what do you know? Another John Doyle original. Sure, fine. We'll play it. It's called Sure, Fine. tune um jelly over there wrote this with his father roderick jellema rod was an absolute legend in his own right and wonderful poet and smart man and uh, academic and just an all-around fantastic man and that is exactly why jelly is all that and more and it's and i can say that after living with that uh, person for four and a half years. Person. And Speedy, too. We had, a, we had a good thing over there. Uh, it's a pleasure to... It's a, it was a pleasure, Jelly, and you are one of my favorite people. So, here's a little tune called Shagtown Jubilee.
drag away the blues Cause Jubilee is breaking out tonight You could say that uh, that was Jelly's jam, right? Hey, folks, we have uh, just two more tunes here for you, um, unless we unless we should just stop right now. I don't know. You know what? Screw you guys. We have one more, and uh, and it's gonna be super slow and low energy. Sorry, we're Thrift Set Orchestra Deluxe. There's a little tune called Skylark. Arranged by Lauren Gould. That's it for us, folks. Thanks for Thrift Set Orchestra. Thanks. Okay, fine. We'll do one more. Okay. Due to rousing applause. Thanks, Laura. <laughs> I'll 
play after the show, toots. Okay, here's a little tune called Crazy Capers. Okay, okay, sure. That's for Amanda, wherever you are. <laughs> Time we're really done. We're at Thrift Set Orchestra Deluxe. You got Hal Smith on the drums, Ryan Gould, string bass, Albany Folletta, guitar, Lion Grelty on the reeds, John Doyle on the reeds, Ryan Gould on the reeds and the flute. We got Jelly on the clarinet and the cornet, Steve Butts on the trumpet, Speedy on the trombone, and the secret slide trombone. I'm Weston Borghese. This is a tenor banjo. Yes, you can play in jazz. Thanks, y'all. One more time for this fantastic band.
Wow. Uh, thank you all so much for coming. If you're tuning in online, thanks to the mighty few that are leaving uh, Venmos and PayPals. And if you really enjoyed yourself tonight in the house, there's a tip jar. And we hope to see you back at Monk's. But most importantly, get home safe. Thank you all. Thanks for having us, Colin. Thank you.